Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another exciting episode of This is Lucky! Hello, everybody. Um, I burst into flames. Oh, you did not. Now, a lot of the so-called atheists out there, most of you, and I've said this before, you, you have a god. Your god is the state. My wife's a Christian. I'm an atheist. Guess what I did tonight? I went to church with her. Why? Because she's my wife. I'm going to do things with her. Um, it was nice enough. I mean, it wasn't. there weren't a whole lot of people there, so that's nice. And I used to be Amish. And before that, I was Mennonite. I was New Order Amish, not Old Order. And anyway, um, I even took communion, not because I would normally have done something like that, but they kind of just handed it to me. I'm like, okay. But I burst into flames when I drank the blood of Christ. Obviously not. Yeah, obviously not. Some of you atheists are... It's symbolic of the blood. Yeah. But, um... <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, the preacher man there, he, um... The preacher man. <laughs> that's the southern in me, I reckon. I reckon. Uh, he, he knows, or knew, somebody that we used to know as well. And he knows the reality of this guy. What? The problem with him. Yeah. So... That was actually good, uh, because there are still folks up here who stand by the guy. I think he can do no wrong, but yeah, they need to pull their head out of the sand. Yeah, and this guy has some serious problems. Issues. And, you know, if he would get help, I still would not be his friend. I would still want nothing to do with him, but if he would just get the help he needs... He would help himself a lot. Yeah, and... I would be less standoffish, if that's how you would say it. You know, I I would be willing to interact with him from time to time on a very nominal level. But as he long just as confront his demons. Yeah, and you know he needs to do that. But does he have to? No, it's his choice. But you know. So he's destroying his own life by not doing it. Yeah. And, and I've been where he, he is. Okay. Before I took medicine, I was where he's at. So, now for those of you who say psychiatric medicine is, is bogus and all that nonsense. Utter don't, don't nonsense. Don't you ever think that you're not going to take your medicine because if you do, I'm going to do you like I do a cat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I I'm take poke it down your throat. I take two medicines. And I, there have been times where I have not you know, taking it, like, every day the way I'm supposed to. Well, everybody gets off a little bit sometimes. Yeah, but I can tell when I'm not doing that. And it's not an issue of how I live my life, or, uh, I don't... Hey, I skip a day of mine every once in a while. Yeah. But if I was off of these medicines, I, yeah, I, I would be your worst enemy, you'd be my worst enemy. And we don't want that. So... I'd hit you with a brick. <laughs> <laughs> and I would deserve it. I would deserve that. <laughs> but um, anyway, we're thinking of maybe seeing if the, the guy, the preacher there, would uh, do, our we do our wedding or marriage or, yes. you know, the ceremony thing. I, you know, we have to do, you know, a non-state wedding, which is fine. I just wish there was, like, way around and do it non-state. Yeah, you know, like, there was... Like, it's none of their damn business anyway, but... Yeah, but yeah, I'd still like to get a certificate, a nice one, maybe uh, calligraphied, that we could put on the wall somewhere if we could find space on the wall. Yeah. There's actually a little space there and a little space there, and a that's about it. couple inches here and there, but... Yeah. And, um... Anyway, so, um... 
the the desk in the kit in the kitchen. I'm getting ready. You know, I'm, I'm going at this really really slow, but I'm getting ready to do the handwriting, the spelling, uh, the English in general. And the one area I'm having a hard time with is is finding the proper math material because I need to start like at a level below where I'm actually at and then work up. So I'm I'm talking about elementary. Yeah, like single digit plus single digit, single digit plus two digit. I don't need to do like one plus one, one plus two, but you know, one plus three, two plus three, you know, something like right there, right after like the zero plus one, one plus one, right after that, and then work my way up. And I just what I want is a like a really thick book of nothing but math drills, but not where every sheet is the same one after the other, because I'll just memorize the order. Well, I found some on the internet. Yeah, really thick ones. No, I mean sheets. Oh, like oh. Worksheets. Mm -hmm. Now I have that th won't hurt I have things for history. I have things for philosophy. I'm just like. Where do I start? What do I do first? Um, you know, I'm 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 not gonna start here. Okay. Look, first of all, that's not a, a thin book. I'm not gonna start with that one. Oh, I'm, why not? I might start here. Is that a philosophy book? Yeah. I might start with that. I might not. Here's another good one. This might be a good one to start with. Um, well, we, we have books. <laughs> no, we only have a shortage. We have a shortage of them. Yeah. No. Uh, so, and an, an, another issue is with the handwriting. I need like things to write so I can learn the cursive because I never learned cursive. I have cursive sheets. Honey. Oh. I found them online. Remember? Oh yeah. Okay. So, but I need, you know, I need, like, words and phrases, I guess, or sentences? What would it well, be? Well, these are letters, and then you can, I can try to see, dig around and see what else I can find. Okay. So, you know, I'm pretty much set, but it's just getting to the point where I go in there, take the chair in there with me, sit down, and start doing this stuff. How long do I spend on this subject? How long do I spend on that subject? Uh, how do do I do this? How, I mean, there, there are questions. You know, do I just read through a book? Do I take notes? Because if I'm going to take notes, I'm going to need a whole lot of notebook paper. We've got notebooks. I can go through a lot. Well, we have spiral notebooks, too. Yeah. Remember, I bought some when I started. Oh, yeah. So, you know, I don't know what I'm going to do. Anyway, so... See, I'm going to say this for, for the so-called atheists, the ones who are state worshippers. Like, again, you have a God. You're not really an atheist. And You're a socialist. Yeah, or fascist or communist, whatever. In the end, it's all the same. I did not escape Franco Spain to come here and go through what I'm going through now. Don't cuss me because I called you a socialist. Yeah. Because the truth hey, is honey, the truth. I'm German. I'm Ger my blood is German. Yeah. Does that tell you what, I, what my background is? And my family wasn't involved in that shit, but they got out of there long before that, yeah. but still. And here's another thing. Everybody has the right to be, ha be happy, be proud of their heritage. I'm, I'm a Celt. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a Celt on a, from the Irish, but I'm Spanish, but I'm not Celtibrary. So I'm a Celt on the Irish side, and I'm Spanish on the Spanish side, but I'm not Celtiberian. Anyone, but see what I have a problem with is, is for people like my wife, who's of German descent. I'm a Heinz 57, really. <laughs> <laughs> but if like she takes pride in her heritage, oh no, you're a racist, you're a Ku Klux Klan. No, she's not. No, I'm German. She's she's. Has, she's of German blood. She has every right to be proud of whatever her heritage is. Just like you do. Just like I do. Just like anybody does. But you can't let it rule you, I guess I would say. I don't know. Anyway. So, 
we have th we finally found um, little bags for Halloween. Little Walmart. Yeah, I mean we. There used to be tissue paper ones, but these are like cellophane, like a thick, like a plastic, not quite cellophane, but. And what? what we're, that. We've been this came like in a candy bag or something. On a cupcake sculpture. Oh, cupcake. Okay. And we've been collecting little thing, little knickknacks to give to the kids. We make little bags for Halloween. We're gonna put like stuff like this. It's a ring. See. Spider Man. Yeah. And if you turn them upside down. And there's another one. I don't know what the uh, name of it is, but it's some sort of evil villain or something. Oh. And we're gonna make little bags. Put two or three pieces of candy in each bag. Put little, you know, knickknacks like that in the bags. You know, this just stuff we find. We don't have to pay for this stuff. We just find it. Um, and when you give it out Halloween. Um, Hopefully we don't have three feet of snow on like, like on the ground like we did last year. Yeah. Uh, that was like our first We had a winter. day and a half to dig the door way out. Yeah, that was our first winter up here. That was like the most snow was right there. That. And the rest of the winter. I mean, it snowed, but never like that what again. What do they call it? Like, um... <sighs> Halloween, uh, uh, Halloween blizzard or something. Like that. There's some sort of funky names you oh, guys I'm, made up for. Uh, I don't remember. October. October blizzard. Snow Snowtober or event or something like that. No. And one one more thing I want to touch on. I've heard some of the meteorologists up here say it. Oh. I just can't remember right offhand. We would love to get about five acres. Preferably no less than five acres. But we want it rural, not yeah. I mean, close to a, a small town, a, a large, a village slash small town, probably under 10,000. Yeah, and I'm not going to say... Preferably out of the um, incorporated area of it. Yeah, I'm not going to sit here and say, yes, I can build a cabin. You can do it. I probably could. My father, you wouldn't believe what he did with our house, and he only had like a fourth grade education. And I've been to college and trade school. But anyway, so um, it would be really nice. We, you know, it doesn't have to be big. We'd, we would need to get, I think, one of the big expenses for that type of adventure would be a, a, a wood burning cook stove because it would provide heat and it would also be how we cook. Can you imagine the summers? Well, we could build a dog trot. I can have Tom probably look for it around in Tennessee. They might be more common and less expensive down there. Yeah. Now we can find lots of wood stoves for heating up here, but then is it? Can you use it without doing a lot of work on it? Yeah. You know, because uh, we find people decorate with them. You know, but they don't burn anything in them and then we would need to cut wood and what we have up here is mostly pine and pine burns pretty fast so I would like to have a cast iron stove oh yeah that would be nice so anyway folks uh, this has gone over uh, past 13 and a half minutes so Avita Zane little German lingo there <laughs>